Good evening. I'm Tom Morello. They are four of the most recognizable faces on the planet and one of the most iconic and badass bands of all time. Growing up, KISS was my favorite band, and it was not always easy being a KISS fan. Just as KISS were relentlessly persecuted by critics, their fans were relentlessly persecuted by the self-appointed arbiters of taste in middle schools and high schools across America. Arguments and even fist fights were not uncommon. I recall as a 15-year-old telling one bully, you can kiss my kiss-loving ass, because KISS was never a critic's band, KISS was a people's band. And while there is often debate about who should and shouldn't be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I think the criteria are actually quite simple. Impact, influence, and awesomeness. And KISS have all three in spades. Impact. KISS have sold over 100 million albums worldwide. They have 28 gold albums in the United States alone. That's more than any other American rock band in history. Their theatrics, their theatrics were indisputably groundbreaking, but it was KISS's music that had an impact on me. They practically invented the live album with KISS Alive. Then came Destroyer, Rock and Roll Over, Love Gun, Alive 2, Dynasty, all exploding with killer riffs and themic choruses. You gotta lose your mind and, it. and screaming solos that for 40 years have been filling arenas and stadiums around the world. Influence, simply put, Kiss is the band that made me and millions of others love rock and roll. Their influence is everywhere, from Metallica to Lady Gaga. KISS have inspired thousands of artists of diverse genres, some of whom may be on a Hall of Fame trajectory themselves. They've been a formative influence on members of Tool, Pearl Jam, Alice in Chains, Slipknot, Garth Brooks, Pantera, Foo Fighters, Motley Crue, Lenny Kravitz, White Zombie, Soundgarden, Nine Inch Nails, and Rage Against the Machine, to name just a few. Okay. Okay. Impact, check. Influence, check. And the final criteria? Awesomeness. There's a simple test for that. What if you had never seen or heard Kiss before? What if you had never heard a note of their music, never viewed a YouTube clip, never seen a reality show featuring any of the members? And what if you wandered into a divey club in your hometown and saw Kiss in all their glory thrashing the place to the ground? One guy belching fire and spraying blood past his gargantuan tongue, a drum riser bursting through the roof, a guitar player so incredible his axe billowed smoke and shot rockets, a front man flying back and forth across the joint like a superhero Tarzan, all of them in frightening horror movie, comic book superstar, sexifying kabuki makeup, all of them in black and silver warrior bondage gear and seven inch platform heels, the place blowing up with explosions, screeching with sirens, raining confetti, all to the pounding soundtrack of bare knuckle, badass, heavy duty, liberating rock and roll. What would you say if you saw that? You'd say, that band's fucking awesome. That's what you'd say. And so without further ado, you wanted the best and you got the best. The hottest band in the world, Kiss.